Who is? It's the police, stupid. You've got 30 seconds to open this door or I'm gonna kick it down. Officer, please don't kick my door down. Welcome to Smoke Fest. Smoke till you drop. The audio movie is here. Door flies off the hinges and police officers rush inside. Do you have a search warrant or probable cause for knocking down my door? No, I don't need a search warrant. We were informed that a gang member by the name of Little Big Homie resides here and is currently at this party. He is the third suspect in an attempted robbery that happened down the street. Again, I suggest you move. You don't want to get booked for aiding and abetting. Officer Harris had force in his voice. Little Big Homie had pulled a roach out of his pocket and had been lying under Swift's bed smoking while the scene at the door in the living room was going down. He thought, this is gonna be the last blunt I smoked for a while. Now let's get something straight right now. I ain't gay. I ain't nobody's bitch. I'm in here for killing five people with my bare hands and eating their arms like Hannibal Lecter. Y'all bitch niggas better give me five or no, six feet at least and everything will be cool. Oh yeah. And Lil Big Homie's the name. Everyone pounces on him getting in a few shots each while he's on the ground moaning for help. New fish on the yard. Fresh booty in the house. You better adapt to this shit. We gonna be here for a while. Welcome to the Love Motel. Bend over for me. I've been waiting for some brand new booty. Save me! Four years have passed since Lil Big Homie, Monster, and Dulo were put in jail for their failed attempted robbery. Although the Hustler Nation missed their Lil Big Homie, they had to do what any hustler would do, keep it pushing. Luckily for them and their weed smoking habits, a lot of things had changed in four years. There was now medical marijuana dispensary that allowed someone to walk right in and purchase some weed. The only catch was that you had to obtain a medical marijuana card. That was actually the easy part. A particular person could walk into a doctor's office and complain of muscle pain, insomnia, lack of appetite, etc. and be prescribed marijuana on the spot. It was a dream come true for the remaining Hustler Nation members. Currently, Money Green, Swift, Maniac, and Elder Hustler were sitting in the living room planning a massive marijuana legalization event with the local dispensary owner, Luigi. Smoke Fest was gonna be big. Everyone involved had that feeling. We gotta make this pop. We're about to get papered up. Dude, we gonna hit the streets with this mixtape with us and the other artists that are gonna be in the event to get everyone hyped up. We gonna make some paper and get this shit cracked. Elder Hustler walks over into the kitchen and picks up the receiver. It's me, dawg. I'm getting out. I'm coming home. I'm being released early for good behavior. I'm a changed man. I'm giving my life to God and everything. Yeah, okay. If you a changed man, then I'm living in Hugh Hefner's mansion with all the Playboy Bunny. I want that good life, and I sure ain't trying to come back to this motherfucker. It ain't been an easy ride. Are Monster and Dulo getting out too? Yeah, yeah they getting released too. Prison sure has changed them niggas. They a little funny now. Hey, Swift, please don't tell Queen I'm coming home. I want to surprise her, homie. Jasmine, Money Green's girlfriend, had let herself into the house to grab some money from Money Green's room. On her way to the back of the room, she had overheard Swift talking to Lil Big Homie. I do everything for this man, except to collect calls from the jailhouse, putting money on his books, packages every three months, even send his ass some naked pictures, and he can't even tell me when he coming home? Oh, hell no. I'm going to fuck him up. Monster and Dulo had done their four years in prison a little differently than Little Big Homie. Instead of fighting their way around, they sort of let things happen. A monster is sporting skinny jeans, a baby doll tank, and platform sandals. Both of them are wearing wigs and plenty of fierce attitudes to go with their ensemble. Where in the hell you think you going dressed like that? The surprise guard asks Monster and Dulo. We going home. So, how are you doing today? Are you visiting from out of town? Monster answers in the most feminine voice he can conjure. Wow, you are so beautiful. You don't mind that I pulled over, do you? Do you mind if we talk for a minute? May I join you back there or would you like to join me up here? I think we can work it out. Once the deed was done, Garvin returned happily to the driver's seat and pulled the car back onto the street. I am a married man and I have three kids with her and I have five other children and five other baby mamas. I hope that won't cause any problems with us hooking up again. I have a confession to make too. I'm really a man.
Monster hops out of the car and takes off down the street towards his house. They dodge in between houses and backyards for a block or two. The truck had pulled into the Hustler Nation driveway. I told you to stop messing with people, so if you riding with us, man, you gotta learn to fight or hold your damn temper. And their arrival, party goers had already shown up to welcome back Lil Big Home. There was music being played, drinks going around, weed in the air, and a game of dominoes being played in the kitchen. As they entered, everyone took their turns hugging and dapping Lil Big Home. Opponent approached their group. What's up, my niggas? Welcome home, little big homie. It's good to have you back. You wouldn't believe the day we had. Let's just say it's been a long day. Swift was emotionally exhausted and the party had barely started. Coming soon to a stereo sound system near you. Excuse me. We are the people who came to save the souls from eternally burning here. Sister Bradley, a church elder, explained. Ain't no soul saving going on here tonight. Y'all church folks ain't getting in hell. God go get all y'all for talking about folks like that. Is this where I'm supposed to tell someone that I want to enter the hot boxing competition? Yes, ma'am. You can sign up right here. We got one spot left open. We'll be starting shortly. Stick around and they'll announce. Mama Thizzle signs up for the competition and follows the other contestants as they head towards the entry. When they get there, there are two 15 passenger vans parked ready for the hot boxing to begin. Miss Neverlie, an older woman who attends the same church as Preacher Man and Mama Thizzle, is walking up to the entrance of Smokefest with her blind husband smiling. Will all of our cannabis makers please send one representative at this time to the stage with your submission. He has spent a lot of time concocting the right mix of different strains to produce a knock you out blunt. Professor Walton hits it and adds. <laughs> This is bullshit too. <laughs> bullshit. Where's the good at? In the name of Jesus, I'm getting in there. Pastor Douglas said passionately. Oh my dead body, old school. You and your folks ain't getting inside. Now take it out there before I have to physically remove you. Young man, do you believe in God and his son Jesus Christ? Wait a minute. I do believe that I have misjudged. But I still ain't feeling it. We not having no church tonight, fellas. Y'all need to take that choir boy shit down the street. No, I believe in me. A loud, booming voice comes out the sky. Push me, play, and see my face. Turn from your wicked ways. I, I told him, Lord, I'm the one who called you. But I'll be right back. I wasn't quite ready for this. I got some sin of my own. Look at what the weed smoke done. Formed a face and a voice. You stupid nigga, that is God speaking to us. Save yourself. It's the end of the world. Wait a minute. I do believe that I have misjudged. <laughs> this shit is the bomb. Yeah. 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 yeah! 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 A whole lot of you. A little bit of me. What you wind up? Everything free. You call on me. Even you. You can call on me. But don't call me through. I'm never done to keep cooking. Truth right here, but you can keep looking. You can keep wishing through the roof right here. Cause the juice right here. Like a pushed off dish. Like a pushed off dish. But my name ain't cute. And the love of my gang speaker on my ass. Oh, my God.